This is a Wilberforce pendulum. First I will show you how it works and then I will show you how I made it. So to get it started I'm going to twist it. Just three times should do. Then let go. And it will of course spin around and back and forward and backward. You also can see now it's going up and down and the spinning uh, frequency, uh, the spinning uh, is going down. So then you get to a moment where it's almost not spinning anymore, just going up and down. And then spinning starts again. and it will increase spinning until the vertical movement is gone. See that? Vertical movement is gone. Now I'm going to show you how I made my Wilberforce pendulum. First I got myself a spring which doesn't require much force to enlarge it. And I made myself a brass pin, which is about 12 centimeter long. I think, what is it? One centimeter uh, thick. I made a hole in there and I put some long, small screws in there. And on the screws, I put some nuts, some bolts and some rings and you know, Actually, in the end, with these little rings, I can adjust its uh, spinning frequency. And doing so, I can make the spinning frequency equal to the vertical frequency. And that's what you need to get the Wilberforce pendulum. So, let's have a closer look at it. That's my pendulum. Not difficult to make. Up here, I put a pin in there because I want to make sure... There is no space between uh, the brass pin and the spring. It has to be tight, good. <laughs> 